So here in the woods, it's the start of British summertime and we all know what that means. Rain. So what I thought I'd do is a couple of quick videos on rain gear. The stuff that I use when I'm out in the woods. As always, I've kept it simple and I've also kept it fairly cost effective. So what I tend to wear when I'm out in the woods for probably 70% of the time is one of these, a light woolen shirt. Sometimes it makes up part of my layer system, so it might be a mid-layer worn underneath a wool smock or a windproof smock, or as it is now, it's with a light cotton t-shirt, and I just wear this as my sort of outer layer. It's breathable, it's comfortable, and it's ideal for what I want. The problem is, it doesn't keep the rain out. But it doesn't matter, because always in my little pack, I always carry one of these, a waterproof poncho. I've used ponchos a lot over the years. They're a really versatile piece of kit. As well as being something we can use for keeping us dry when it's raining, we can also use them as a shelter. We can use them for collecting water. We can even, if necessary, use them as a stretcher. I've had quite a few over the years. I used to use one of the old British Army 58 ones, which was good, bomb-proof, but also very heavy. I also used one of the American ones, which was a lot lighter to carry, and at one point was, was seen as the item to have. This one is made by a company called Helicon Tex, and it's made in China, but it's modeled on the US Army one. Its dimensions, they're just over, two meters ten by I think it's just under one and a half meters wide I think it's one four five centimeters and it weighs in at just under 500 grams cost wise they're relatively cheap uh, less than 25 pounds and they are very good and very versatile and ideal for keeping in your pack In use, they're really, really versatile. Not only does it cover you, but it also covers your pack as well. So need, no need to carry a waterproof cover for that. They're also cut long enough that most of the time you don't need waterproof trousers. So for 500 grams, you're getting a pretty complete rain suit. Perhaps not ideal for mountain and moorland, but for out here in the woods, where it's, it's not gonna get particularly windy, the rain tends to just fall from above rather than coming in sideways, they're absolutely great. They do keep out quite a lot of rain. They do feel a bit damp on the inside, but not a great deal gets through. The hood is very, very simple. It's got a little drawer called cinch uh, that goes up underneath your chin so you can close it off. And while it's not a technical hood, if you're wearing a baseball cap, then having the peak in place allows you to turn your head from side to side and the hood moves as well. There's very, very little to go wrong on a poncho. It's a very simple item. These ones have grommets around the sides so you can turn it into a makeshift shelter. It's got little pop snaps as well that you can do up down the sides to help keep it all closed in and keep you sealed out of the weather. But it also allows you to clip your poncho to other people's ponchos to make it a bigger shelter. So they're really, really good, useful, versatile, lightweight item that you should always carry in your pack. So there you go. If you're in the market for some simple, effective wet weather gear, then you can't go far wrong with a waterproof poncho. And the Helicon ones, I found are very, very good. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, then hit that like button. There is also gonna be another one to follow up on a full waterproof suit as well, but that's, that's yet to come. Now, if you wanna show the support for the channel, then remember, subscribe to the channel. You can also follow us over on Instagram. I'm greencraft underscore one, and I tend to put up pictures daily, pretty much, of what I'm up to. You can also show your support for the channel by heading over to our Etsy, Etsy shop. 
it's green craft shop and over there you'll find the green craft patches which you can sew on your smock or on your your rucksack but you'll also find the mini more scarf and our edc belt pouches as well and a few bits and pieces that uh, I've, I've carved while i'm out in the woods so pop over there and have a look you can always email me direct and my email address will come up on the screen i think that's about everything so until next time i've been neil stay safe